Shalom, shalom. This is Great Millstone, Indiana Cats, Gary. Before we get started, we want to give all praises, glory, worship, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakurash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the true rulers and leaders of Israel today. All right. Uh, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakurash, Rock a thumb to the true and sincere Akim out there that's teaching this truth in season and out of season. And uh, salutations to you, Aquas, that's listening and, you know, eating. All right? And the confusion of faces that's out there, man. Wherever you may be, whoever you are, man, that received this word through the spirit of, uh, uh, through the spirit of the most time, man. Kakurash. <clears throat> All right? So uh, me and my brother, Shamaria, we was, uh, we were just going through the spirit, man, how, you know, a hey, persecution is to start is to come down upon us, man. It'll come down upon the men of the Lord and all of Israel as a whole, man. And there's gonna be some people out there that's gonna uh be uh suffering righteously, and there's gonna be some people out there that's gonna be suffering wickedly, man. Right. All right. Man, but we over here on this side, we trying to suffer for the righteousness, okay? We trying to suffer for righteousness' sake, and you how about shim y'all shot, man? And we're gonna go into an example, man. Paul was uh, an example of one of them sufferings, man. The things that he went through, the things he had to bear, man. So of course he had full assurance in the faith that, that the Most High had a crown set up, uh, a, a set up half for him, man. Okay. <coughs> so this is a uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. I'm right gonna start at uh, eleven. Eleven and one. You started uh you can start at 18. Uh second Corinthians eleven and eighteen. I was already there, that's crazy. Yep. This will go all the way down. All right. to second Corinthians eleven and eighteen. He says, seeing that many <clears throat> seeing that many glory after the flesh, I will glory also. For ye suffer fool foolish, I mean fools gladly, seeing ye yourselves are wise. Right, yeah, it's, as the scripture says, man, they uh strive for a corruptible crown, and we an incorruptible crown, man, all right? So these people seeing themselves to be wise, because why? Right now they living in their heaven. Right now they got the money. They said we made the right decisions. We made the right choices. We smarter than the rest of our people who didn't come up with this idea to get this money, man. And that's where they consider themselves to be wise, man. Yep. Not in the word. Yeah. All right. Um... He said, for ye, ye, for ye suffer it, so yeah, for ye suffer it, a man bring you into bondage. It's like, I'm going to read that, go with the other part. He said, for ye suffer fools, fools gladly, seeing ye yourselves are wise, for ye suffer it, for ye suffer it, for ye suffer. Yes. If a man bring you into bondage, if a man devour you, if a man take you, take of you, if a man exalt himself, if a man smite you on the face, I speak as concerning of reproach, as though we had been weak. Howbeit, where, uh, when, when, and soever any is bold, I speak foolishly. I am bold also. I got a scripture for you. This is a precept. This is uh, Matthew chapter five. Come on, this is Matthew chapter five, verse twenty-five, and it says a Greek with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Hey, because the scripture says, man, in, in that day, man, they're gonna cast some of us into prison, man. They're gonna put some of us into jail, man. And that's gonna be the affliction of the righteous, man. They're gonna take some of these men that's out here on the highways and the byways, they're gonna snatch them out, and they're gonna put them in these concentration camps. Hey, this, this faith and this truth that we pushing, man, it's not for the weak. That's right. It's not for the weak, man. Or the faint-hearted. Or the faint-hearted, huh? Go on here, Elder. Mm -hmm. He said, <clears throat> he said, are they, he said, are they Hebrew? Are they Hebrews? So am, so am I. Come on, I got it. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 22. He say, are they Hebrews? So am I. He say, are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. And so Paul was making that distinction, man. He was making that distinction amongst from who he was and uh, for the people that he was coming to, okay? He was saying, I'm coming to the Hebrews. They Hebrews, so am I. They Israelites, they so am I, man. All right? 
So this is a message to let you know that hey, we coming to the Hebrew Israelites, man. We coming to our people, man. This truth ain't, ain't to be pushed out to these heathens, man. Okay? These this truth is to be pushed out to the to the uh to the Gentiles who are the uh, confusion of faith and the foreign uh Israelites and the Israelites that's in the know, man. We ain't coming to nobody else, man. This this is our truth, man. This book was made for us, for our sake. Just that's the same as the world was, as it says in Second Ezra, man. He says, "Are they ministers of Hamashiach?" I speak as a fool. So he put that in quotation marks. He, he said, I speak as a fool. You know, not fully knowing what he's saying. Uh, not, not saying he don't know what he's saying, but not fully uh, having, a, uh, as we say through the scriptures, we, uh, we prove all things through the scriptures. Okay? So he's not able to prove this at this point in time, hey, but through his spirit. Feel it though, man. Through his spirit, he's acknowledging that, hey, this is what it is, man. Okay? He said, uh, I am more in labors, more abundant. All right? He said, I work harder than any other man in the faith, man. You know, because you got to realize Paul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees, man. Okay? He says, more abundant in stripes above measure. He said, in prisons more frequent in deaths oft. So he was going through a lot of uh, persecution, man. Paul was going through a lot of hell, man. Serving the heavenly father and his son, Yahweh Shep. He says, of the Jews, five times received I 40 stripes, saved one. And you got to realize, Paul was taught directly by Yahweh Shep, man. It was three years, it was three years until he actually started to see Peter, man. He was taught directly by Yahweh Shep. It took him three years before he actually met Peter, the apostle. Uh, the, the head of the apostles, man. All right. So the spirit was dealing with uh, Paul before he even met the uh, the apostles. Okay. That Yahweh had ordained. Okay. He says, thrice was I beaten with rods, once was I stoned, thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day have I have I have been in the deep. And journeyings often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by my own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils amongst false brethren. And you go into that word perils, man. That word perils it goes uh it means uh it, uh, it mean, uh, kin, kindle knows, kindle knows. It says a danger, man. So he was in danger. He was in uncertain uh, places in all these places, man. As in uh, uh, Psalms, King David prayed that uh, uh, that he guide him through the uh, valley of the shadow of death, man. Because right now, us men of the Lord, we in the valley of the shadow of death. Can't hold oh, that's, of that's America. Oh, we too close. We can't hold on to it. Okay. 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 Wait, wait, step back. Yeah, oh, step back. I mean, it ain't, that, that 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 that's behind you. It's too, it's too close. You understand? How about this? I mean, yeah. it can, but you know, we move around and rock. Okay. Right. It'll be all right. Come on, man. He won't. Huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over here, bro. But, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, um, yeah, the brother said, yeah, because we are in the Valley of Shadow Death, man. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's hella, it's hella, uh, I mean, it's hella, uh, 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 ways to die in this place, man. I always attribute that scripture with, but that show uh, a thousand ways to die, all right? I was just doing, uh, I was studying before we got here, how they, uh, how they just in, uh, okay in New York, man, they just okay the uh, partial, uh, not partial, uh, uh, full-term uh, baby, uh, full-term abortions, wow. all right? Baby could be actually nine months, man, ready to be fully born, and they will, cut his ass out of the womb, man. Yeah. Probably not even cut him out. They probably actually let him be born, man, and kill him. Yeah. That's actually murder, man. Murder, man. You know, and that's 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 uh, revelations, man, when they was killing the infants, bro. Mm -hmm. That's that, Everything's coming back in full circle, man. This the, the, the truth, man, the prophecies are coming to pass, man. Everything is coming back full circle. Even, oh, man, <laughs> check this out. I just watched a brother put up a video about, um, not to go off point, but a brother put a video up, man. A lady, the lady that's running for president, I forgot her name. This bitch is trying to give uh, Jake reparation, reformation, bro. Talk about uh, hundred, uh, eighty billion or some shit. And and either my, you got, you brothers got to watch the video, man. Uh, I'll give him out, out, out uh, 
I forgot the Akim's name, but he put it up, man. But it was, you know, that's crazy. Okay, but it's a little too late for that, man. We don't want no fucking reparation, man. We want your fucking blood, man. All right, we want what y'all about Shimmy Yawa Shah is gonna give us, man. Fuck your money, man. What the, what, what, what you gonna give us reparations for now and, and, and your fucking dollar finna crash? Hey, you know, okay. just like you saw. We go, yeah, we gotta get, you gotta pay you guys back. <laughs> and the fucking money finna crash now, bro. <laughs> hey, God, fucking man. demon, man. I got you, Gilder. He ahead, say, bro. uh, Second Corinthians 11 and 27, he says, in weariness and painfulness and watching often in hunger and thirst and fasting, Often in cold and nakedness. All right. Hey, so Paul had to suffer a, 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 a tremendous amount of straits, man. And yeah. you got, and the scripture says what? That the most high will not give you uh, uh, something that you can't handle, man. Yeah, you gotta put on too much more on you that you can bear. So, and then with that, that being that. said, man, the, when you going through your straits, when you going through your hell, man, that's that's to build you up. Because you how about Shemuel Shai is doing what? He building the army of Israel right now, man. He building his soldiers up, man. He getting them prepared for the war. He, he getting them prepared for the hour of temptation, man. Yeah, the spirit, because the spiritual battle has already been, man. Uh, uh, the spiritual battle happened as soon as uh, Yahweh Shah uh, died on the cross, man, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and res res resurrected, man. The spiritual battle started. Yep. All right. So, 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 you know, it's, it's nothing to take place now, man, but the physical. Okay. And that's that's what we've been waiting on, man. You know. Because when he comes back, man, it ain't gonna, it's not going to even be a battle. It's really, really, it's not going to even be a battle, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we already know it's, it's played out, man. It's, we know who wins at the end, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, since you said that, this is uh, Revelation chapter 10, verse 9. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty. Mm -hmm. All right? Because the children of Israel is in poverty. A lot of the men of the Lord that's in his faith right now, we all come from different walks of life, but majority of us come from poverty, man, all right? And that's, that was basically to set us up, too, to recognize the wickedness of this place, man, mm -hmm. to, to get our eyes adjusted to this darkness, man, to, right. see, to see that, hey, this is, not the, this is not the way. We shouldn't be living like this. And then once this word came to us, we saw the light, man. Yeah. We saw the light. We got illuminated. We the real Illuminati, yeah. man. For us to serve our uh, our punishment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we was gonna we was gonna we was gonna uh, we was gonna serve what we serving our we done served our punishment. It's up now, man. Mm -hmm. Now you know, and he saw them. <laughs> hey, you know what? He, that's why he knows the scriptures, man. He don't want to drink. Hey, the scriptures said he don't want to. He's not gonna. Uh, he don't want to drink of the cup, man. But hey, the scriptures said y'all said he's gonna surely drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. We gonna we gonna we gonna do like you like you did the slaves coming over here, man. You you you. you Stuck that wood, that uh, iron fur, uh, funnel in their mouth, man, and, and hit it down, man. Bust the teeth and, and force them to eat, man. Guess uh. what? We're going to force your ass to drink that cup, man. That's right. All right? Come. He says, but thou art rich. All right? We, we, we rich in the spirit, man. That's right. We rich because of our heavenly father. Yeah, how about Shem Yahushem, man? And he says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And you got our people even amongst yeah. that, man. Yeah, he's he's man, he real blasphemy, man. You blasphemous. He he's he's everybody in this kingdom, man. You mm -hmm. you the most high, you Superman, mm -hmm. uh fucking Iron Man, Batman. You you all the man. Uh, samurai, uh, uh uh what's the last Jack. samurai? You know, he's every fucking body, man. Yeah, he fucking uh he he's samurai jack too. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Vegeta, he every fucking body, man. Goku. Yeah, Shit. man. You hey. Hey, hey, you hey, hey, and you you everybody but you're nobody. That's mm. that's the reason why you take on all of these different identities, man. Mm-hmm. It, it says uh yeah. it says uh, uh, uh he says Fear not, Revelation 2 and 10, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And what that word devil mean, man? It means false accusers of the brothers, man. Because that's what the devil is, man. He falsely accused the brotherhood, man. He falsely accused the Israelites, man. He set us up, to, he set us up for failure. All right. Hey, every fucking commercial you see when it comes down to food or a restaurant, he got some goddamn bacon on it from a pig, man. Keeping us from the heavenly commandments of our father, man. No, Keeping wait, us I think adversary. Adversary is accusing other brother. No, it's the devil. It's the devil. Devil is deceiver, I think. Deceiver is adversary. Deceiver, okay. Yep, Khan. He's a false yeah. accuser, man. Yeah. All right? Yeah, Satan. Yeah, man. Satan. Yeah, Satan is a uh, accuser of uh, uh, false uh, 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 
Adversary. Adversary, right, right, okay. Sure. He, he, you know what I'm saying? He set us up for failure, man. Every time we try to serve the Heavenly Father, he got pork in your toothpaste. He got pork in your soap. He got, he got, uh, he got yeah. pork hairbrushes, man. The, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is to indulge us in this wickedness, man. He say, uh, and you know, you reading the Maccabees, man. We was dying for this, man. We, we wasn't finna eat that pork. We was dying for it. And you read about uh, uh, Eliezer, he wasn't finna, he wasn't finna eat that swam, man. He was ready to die for that, man. All right? Cause he ain't want, he ain't want these nations mocking him, laughing at him because he went against the heavenly Father, man. All right? He says, he said, you into prison that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And so that's what we out here doing, man. We trying to be faithful unto death, unto the heavenly Father, man, so He can give us that crown of life. Because you gotta work to be saved, man. You just not automatically saved. I don't no matter what your pastor tell you, because you accepted the name of Jesus Christ that you saved. No, you not fucking saved, man. You in damnation. You in hell right now, man. And the Heavenly Father put this, this, this tribulation on us to build us up. He said, think it not strange that you go through these fiery trials, man. Why? Because he don't want no weak ass men. He said, guard up thy loins, okay? He said, I require you as a soldier, man. We soldiers for you. How about Shim Yahweh Shah, man? We on the front line. We in the battlefield. We in the heat of war right now, man. Against ourselves, first and foremost, and against all these other wicked ass principalities to plan this place, man. All right? That's what the fuck we got going on, man. That's why we out here, man. And because the Lord is putting us through these trials and, 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 um, and tribulations so that we may be able to uh, come out as what he say in the, uh, in the scriptures, as uh, fine gold, man. God. We, we, we the gold being, we the silver and the gold being tried in the furnace, man. That's, this is what we going through right now. I'm gonna pull it up, man. Cause this, this, a, uh, uh, this, this ain't no joke, man. When you come into this faith, man, you gotta come through the straight gates, man. And this is our straight gates, why? To prepare us for the time to come, man. Prepare us for all, all hell breaking out, being loose upon this place, man. You know? Because it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be faint hearted. And the Lord is weeding them out right now as we speak, man. This is the shifting, and this is the time when the devil is coming down with great wrath to, uh, 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 to, uh, to, uh, uh, uh persecute the saints, man. All right? You see it already happening on the news, you know? These devils trying to, uh, uh, trying to, uh, 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 incriminate us, all right? When we don't do anything against the law that they set up. We come out here and abide by their law, you know? It's your law that gives us the First Amendment to be able to speak with freedom of speech, all right? It's not, we didn't make that up, you made that up. And that's why the scripture says what? That their tongue is going to fall on themselves, man. They tongue is falling on themselves, man. As the apostles like to say, man, hey, the why do you help our shim y'all shot for them creating YouTube? Because you allowed us to be able to push this truth, man. You know? You got something, brother? Yeah. It's the book of uh Book of Timothy 2 and 3. Thou for it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. It says, no man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chose him to be a soldier. All right, so endure hardness, at, uh, do, endure hardness as a good soldier. All right, so we are all good soldiers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh all right? So we must therefore endure hardness because while this hardness is going to change us into a better person. All right, when you read the book of uh, Sarah, uh, not Sarah, Ecclesiastes 7, right? It says the it says uh, sorrow is better than laughter. Mm -hmm. right, because said. sadness of the countenance of the heart. I mean sadness strengthens the countenance of the heart. You know, so you gotta go through this hardship. Alright, because it's it's, it's, it's it's a balance, man. When you go through something hard, you get something better in return. When you go through something easy, nine times out of ten, it's something worse in return. Yeah, all right? Yeah, it's the balance. Sit down on that. That's the balance, right? When yeah. you eat something sugary and salty, it's good and it tastes good, but hey, the effect, the effects of that is bad. When you eat something bitter and nasty, nine times out of ten, the effects of that is good. beneficial. Yeah. All right? That's right. It cleans you, man. It burns out the uh the uh the infirmities within you, man. This is uh first Peter's chapter four, verse twelve. It says, Be loved. Think it not strange concerning fiery trial. When you go into that fiery trial, I mean they burning. It says uh, the burning by which metals are roasted and reduced 
by a figure drawn from refiners, refined calamities or trials that test the character, man. Because what the scripture says, man, what man ought ye be in holy conversation, man? All right. And when you go into that uh, conduct, we go and holy con we, we go into that conduct. I mean, conversation I mean conduct. Salaki. All right. So what man ought you to be, man? Hey, as as, as uh, Paul was saying, knowing that you are uh, 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 hold fast to this faith. Uh, 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 as well as me not being in your presence. I ain't, I ain't quote that right, but if a brother uh, can, uh, you know, help me out with right, that. Read that, read that.